all right hello friends thank you for coming back to my channel my name is Navdeep and today we will talk about how I have cleared AWS certified machine learning specialty exam what all content I have followed and how much score I have received so this is my scorecard and if I'm telling you about this exam that is based on my experience and I have received decent score which is 903 out of 1000 and recently I have appeared for the exam now there are seven things which I have followed and if you are following same things definitely you will clear the exam now something about my background so I started with with business intelligence I had, I had started with ClickSense transition to Tableau and then all tracks data IQ and some other tools but I was definitely involved with data but I wasn't doing anything on the data science side of things recently I was exposed to data science and where I built a couple of models couple of very basic I would say tree based models classification models but after doing that I realized that I can I can also learn and appear for this exam that would give me some some sort of real-time experience of creating projects on AWS plus plus I will I will I'll get certified so so let's just jump into the content which I have done so first first thing first before even thinking about the certification let's just go through the kind of content which is there and kind of kind of knowledge which is expected if you are appearing for the exam so go to aws.amazon.com certification certified machine learning specialty and if you if you come to this page you will see that there are some abilities which are which are validated by the certification that you understand the appropriate aws services to implement ml solutions and you can design implement and scale ml solutions recommended knowledge and experience is one to two years of experience and should person should have experience of ml and deep learning and it's fine if you don't have right now but if you go through the content you will definitely have that experience now and then other thing which which is that you can always download one of the sample exam which is this one so it, it has around sample 10 questions and if you go through these questions you will understand that this exam is not not testing you on just the AWS services but on on some of the machine learning deep learning and NLP concepts as well for example this one right so it is asking you what would be the term frequency of this these two lines so if you have gone through TF IDF you would know if not then no worries there in in the content it is already mentioned so you can just go through these questions try to attempt it and see how much marks you receive and how much correct answers you can give even though if you give wrong answers you scroll down and you will see the answers here and the reason of every every each and every answer so this is the starting step now you are a bit familiar with the exam and and the the format and the type of exam so format is multiple choice multiple answer type is speciality so speciality is like the high uh, high tier exams in aws as we had talked about uh, cloud practitioner that's like very basic exam but speciality is is like a top tier exam delivery method is online offline both time is 180 minutes and in this exam you will definitely need this 180 minutes because questions are very large and then those, those questions are not something you can just read and write the answer or think the answer you will definitely have to spend a couple of minutes on every question to understand it and and to come up with the response cost is 300 usd and practice exam is 40 usd available in different uh, languages now now you are comfortable with the content and the type of exam right now let's let's look at the the courses which you need to follow if you are appearing now first course is on the udemy you see aws certified machine learning specialty hands-on this course is from stefan and then in this particular course he has pulled in another another person who is frank kane he's he's ml specialty person and then both of these will walk you through different services of aws and uh, and the different models of aws some of the models are custom to aws and some of them are like like uh, generally available for example XGBoost so this is 9.5 hours on-demand video and it has one practice test as well so 
here you will see what you will learn you will learn about the s3 kinesis dynamo db all of those things which are specific to aws then some of the deep learning and their hyperparameters l1 l2 regularization now SageMaker is definitely one of the key con concept which will be tested in this exam and there are some particular custom made uh, algorithms by aws which which will run on on SageMaker. So these are some of these like blazing text and object detection, all of that. Now another another are high level ML services, comprehend, translate, poly, transcribe, lex, recognition, and more. All of these from AWS. Some of the EDA parts will be tested, and then some of the security best practices which are needed when you are using the SageMaker. So that's the starting point. Now don't just rely on this particular course because this particular course is is on very high level you you definitely need another content now after completing this there is another course from from a, a gentleman called chandra lingam and this is aws SageMaker certified machine learning speciality exam and this is the link here on on my url this is definitely must to do course again it's 14.5 hours, 79 articles, but these are very detailed with the hands-on uh, labs. So, so definitely you have to do this if you are appearing for the exam. Now, third thing is that you have to go through the Amazon SageMaker uh, content on AWS Docs and go through all of this, like how, how you can train a model, deploy, transform, validate, and model monitoring components which are in amazon SageMaker, all of this is definitely needed and it's it's a lot of content definitely but but because it's it's a multiple choice exam and it's not where you will have to code you just have to understand the things so you have to go through this now after that now specifically as i had mentioned there are some of the uh, some of the algorithms which are which will only run in SageMaker. for example Blazing text, deep AR, factorization machines, image classification, IP insight, K means algorithm, KNN, LDA, all of these are tuned by AWS. And some of these are, are uh, very specific to SageMaker. Some of these are still generally available, but you have to go through all of these. Now, you will have questions that, for example, if you have to do a recommendation system, which algorithm you will use? And in that case, you, you might go with factorization machines. Similarly, you will have questions on IP insights. So go through this content. Now, another thing is go to YouTube and there is a there is a, a video series on Amazon SageMaker Deep Dive. There are multiple videos in, as part of this series. Go through all of these. This will give you a bit more understanding of SageMaker. Now, once you have completed all of this, then you have to appear for mock test, right? Now for mock test, come, come to Udemy again. There is, there is this one practice papers. Okay. Go through this one and appear in the practice papers. And the good part is that if, even if you are giving wrong responses or, or right responses, you will always get explanation of that. Now, all of these courses which you see on Udemy, right now these are in, in INR because I'm opening it in India and these keeps on varying. At times you will find it dirt cheap, somewhere around 500 rupees, which, which would be uh, equivalent to maybe uh, 8 to 9 USD, but at times this is not on discount. So wait for it, it will come on discount and then appear for these courses. Now you have done all the courses, all the study which is needed to appear for uh, AWS uh, ML specialty exam. Now the time is to schedule the exam. To schedule the exam, go to go to AWS training slash certification. Now, when you log in on the home screen, you will see this kind of dashboard, right? Now here, go to uh, manage PSI or manage Pearson VUE. You can choose any of the testing centers. I had done it with Pearson, so I'll just select Pearson. So once you select that, you will come to this screen which will show you all the all the exams which are which are currently present now for example we are let's say going for machine learning speciality which is here listed we just click on that and it will process your request 
and will ask you if you want local test center or online let's say you are doing it online do next and after that it, it will ask you a few of the uh, policies just check all of them go to next and if you want to read definitely go ahead and read that now in language select english if, if you are from some other other language speaking nation go ahead and select that now here it will show you what is the price and all that stuff now if you are ready to pay 300 bucks you are ready to you're you're ready with the preparation go ahead and select it and select the language all right now coming to the date part of it right so it will show you which all dates are available for example i'm i'm giving it on 24th right let's say now you have selected the date it will show you uh, at what time you want to do it morning or afternoon in my experience i had done it in morning because that's the time where it is more silent and you can just focus on the exam because you definitely need all those three hours which are allocated so you need every minute of that and on the day of the exam make sure that you are settled and you you log in into the system 30 minutes before the scheduled time so that you have enough time to to do the validations which are needed for example you will have to take a photo of your id proof either it's passport or driving license and you will have to submit it through your mobile and uh, you will get a link and you will have to submit those images through that link and once that is done uh, there would be a person a proctor who will who will chat with you through the system and who will ask you to take pictures of your workstation where you are going to sit and give the exam and once that is done they will release the exam and and you go through the exam and there are options where you can flag it and always come back to the same question you can always go back and back and forth in the exam and once it is completed you will get a small survey uh, fill that survey and post that survey you will get the result if it's pass or fail most likely if you have gone through my video and if you have gone through the content which i am showing you you will definitely pass the exam and in in few hours you will get your scorecard all right so that's all i wanted to cover all the best and uh, ping me in case you have any doubt about the exam i'm happy to answer thank you